All right, so I'm going to do a, uh, a chat before hypothetical. This one was posted by Catherine Seen or Seeny. Sorry if I got that wrong. I, I don't know. Um, I, I want to start off by saying that uh, the scenario that she posed is similar to the one in the book. Uh, so I think that there could be a, a similar solution. You, you know, you could take a similar route to the one taken by the, the girl in the book uh, in that you could just go to your boss and talk to him and be like, hey, you know, this is the things that you're asking me to do don't really uh, line up with my moral compass or to, you know, use the terminology from the book. Um, now, if you do that, you obviously always run the risk of uh, sort of getting like blacklisted at the job because all of a sudden now they're like, well, we can't have this person do part of the, the job that we do here. Yeah, you know, it's unethical, sure, but you know, it's still the job we do here and we can't have her do that. So that, you know, it could hurt your career in that sense. Um, you could just like get fired, <laughs> could also in that way. Uh, so you run a risk there, but I think talking about something and being honest about it is usually one of the better ways to handle most scenarios. Uh, anyway, I'll get into what she actually said. Uh, you start a job at a new company and they ask you to research their top competitor. Nothing wrong there. After you complete this research, they then ask you to call and set up an interview. A little strange. Uh, your goal is to get insider information about the company and the hiring process. Now, uh, as far as you know, getting information about the hiring process, I'm sure there's nothing ethically wrong with that. Uh, it's, if, not, if that's not public information, it's like the closest thing to public information. Um, the company, what, it, what was it? Insider information about the company. That, that encompasses a lot of stuff. Uh, there's a lot of unethical stuff, you know, you would have to do unethical things to get a lot of insider information. Let's pretend that we're not talking about that stuff. Let's pretend that we're talking about the more ethically available stuff. Uh, in which case, I'll say that uh, instead of using a fake interview, trying to set up a fake interview to get this stuff, let's try to go about a way that's like less deceitful. Uh, you know, there. Maybe maybe you could just call them and get that information. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you could set up a meeting with somebody important. Uh, but you know, setting up a fake interview uh, is from, right from the get go. It just doesn't feel right. You know, you're you're sort of deceiving them. Deceit in general is just bad. Uh, I th obviously, um, you know, let's just avoid the deception. Uh, you want to find out the company's flaws? Sure. After you find the flaws, wait. No, I skipped a part. You want to receive information to make your company better than the competitors and find a way to make your company more appealing. That, to me, is just, you know, a market economy. There's nothing wrong at all with, with that. However, then, after you find the flaws, you are then asked to write Google reviews or comment on the competitor's Facebook page to expose the flaws of the company and degrade them. Is there anything wrong with me, a customer of the company, going on Google reviews or Yelp? To write a bad review of a of either company for whatever reason no is there something ethically wrong with an employee of the opposition finding out this information <laughs> by through a fake interview uh, and then going and posting all that stuff yeah um th there's definitely something wrong with that uh it's probably also i'm sure it's illegal i don't know the laws but i'm sure there's got to be something illegal here uh so, double whammy. Um, how do you go about this when it comes to your job as an employee versus your own personal ethics? Um, so like I said, you could just talk to your boss. Uh, I, really, I think that uh, since to me it feels like it kind of breaks some laws, then you're, you're not only putting yourself at an ethics risk, you're also putting yourself at a, you know, like, I could go to jail risk. Um, Let's focus on just the ethics. I think ethically, uh, this is not something that I would want to do for a career. Uh, if if they're if it's a new job and they're already asking me to do this stuff, uh, you know, step one, talk to your boss. Because step two is going to be just quit anyway. So I would say step one, talk to your boss and see if you can get out of it. And if you can, great. And if you can't, hit the road jack. That's what I would do. Because <laughs> this this seems sketchy. Sketchy is a good way to describe that.